Hi everyone, it's Mel here from topnotchteaching.com. I uh, hope you're having a great day today and welcome to my first video tutorial where I'm going to be sharing with you my three favourite spelling games. Uh, these are all games that I've been playing with my students in the last few weeks and that they've uh, really been enjoying so um, I really wanted to share them with you as well. And as you can see I've got a little bit of whiteboard going on here um, where I'm going to do some writing and drawing to um, help me explain the games. Uh, so please excuse my messy writing as I am still getting um, getting used to it. So the first game that I'm going to share with you is Tic-Tac-Toe and then we're going to move on to a game called uh, Sound Bingo and then um, finally I'm going to um, share with you a game called Beat the Mouse. There we go. Alright, so um, let's get stuck into it. Alright, so game number one, tic-tac-toe, which I'm sure most of you are pretty familiar with. Um, and actually in Australia we like to call this game Noughts and Crosses. Uh, and this game is really great um, to play uh, for students in pairs and when you've got a little bit of spare time it's a great fill-in activity as well and I've been using this um, with students who've been focusing on words that have five sounds and that also have adjacent consonants um, and what's great about this game is you can just play it on um, scrap bits of paper or in spelling books or if you use mini whiteboards like I do with your students um, they really like just using those to play games as well. So you get each student to select one of their spelling works. So one student selected their word scrub and the other student selected their word drink. And then basically they take turns to um, write their spelling word um, in a square. And then hopefully um, one of them will get three in a row. And with my students I also like to get them to say the sounds as they're writing um, the word. So we would go d, r, i, n, k, drink. K -r -a -b scrub and the student wins and they have three in a row uh, and then what you can do is um, you can get students to play the game a number of times and um, they can select a new spelling word each time they play the game and it's just a really nice fun way to um, practice their spelling words rather than just doing your usual writing it out over and over again. Alright so the second game I'd like to share with you is Sound Bingo I don't know if my writing's getting better or if it's getting worse. <laughs> um, so with Sound Bingo, this is actually uh, really good if you've been focusing on a specific sound in class. Um, so with uh, a couple of my students, we've been uh, focusing on the A sound. And um, so far they've learnt that there's actually four different ways to spell the A sound. So um, they've learnt the AI spelling the A-Y spelling of the A sound. They've also learnt the E-A spelling and the split spelling of the A sound. So with Sound Bingo, get your students to draw a 3x3 three three grid um, and then before you actually uh, start the game, get your students to tell you the different spellings that they've learnt for the sound to remind them. And then they need to select uh, one of the spellings for each square and so they go ahead and write those in just as I'm doing um, and then they've got leftover squares so they can pick whichever spellings they like to go in those uh, squares. And that one there doesn't look much like a Y does it? <laughs> uh, so I'll just go ahead and fill those in. Alright and then as the teacher you would have um, some cards made up with some of the words on them and then uh, you'd select one card at a time and uh, call out the word. So the first word is bake. Then students need to decide uh, which spelling um, is used for the word bake. And I know it's the split spelling. So then I uh, write the word in the um, corresponding spelling of the A sound. And then you'd keep going and um, calling out words and then students would keep writing them on the grid and then the last word might that you might call out is this one and you can have students win by getting three in a row or um, you might uh, tell the students that they need to uh, fill the whole board before they call bingo. All right, and that's a, um, a really nice way to actually see those students who are having trouble with the different spellings of the A sound and um, it's a much more fun way than um, giving students a test I find. So my students really like that game. 
Alright, the third game I wanted to share with you is called Beat the Mouse. Um, and some of you have probably, it's very similar to um, Hangman, um, but instead of drawing a person, I actually like to draw a mouse. Uh, so um, with some of my students, we've been focusing on um, the sound. So we've been looking at the concept that some um, sounds are made up of two letters. Uh, so you would select a word from your spelling list that um, fits in with your focus and the word that I've selected is fifth. So you draw the number of dashes for the sounds in the word, not the letters. Then you get your students to go through and begin guessing the sounds. So someone might say a g, which is not the first sound, so I draw part of my mouse. Someone might say a h, which is also not part of it. And you might need to help your students a bit with the um, beginning letter and say it's in the first half of the alphabet or something like that. Oh, well, look, we've got a student who's guessed the first sound correctly and then they'd uh, guess the second sound. So someone might say a f at, which, no, I'm sorry, that's not correct. And then someone might say a f oh, no, that's not it either. But then we get someone that gets that one and then they get the next one. When you get to a spot where there's um, two letters but one sound, you can let your students know this here is two letters but it just makes the one sound and then you'll probably get a student that gets it. So it's fifth um, and then hopefully they'll get the word before you uh, finish building your mouse <laughs> and uh, hopefully you've got a little bit better drawing abilities than me and your mouse won't look quite as dodgy as my little mouse here but um, I think you get the picture. Oh, thanks so much for taking the time to uh, watch my video today. I really appreciate it. And um, I hope I've given you some further ideas of fun spelling games that you can play with your students. But if you are after some other great ideas, then hop on over to my blog, topnotchteaching.com, um, where you'll find lots of other ideas. All right, until the next time, see you later.